In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 3, which is to set shipping latency. By default, this will be set to complete because it has the default selections. But you can change that. Click on step 3. You can configure the average number of days required for providing a tracking code to Amazon. You can do this for every supplier. However, the shipping time may vary for each supplier. It is recommended that the minimum shipping latency days is set to 5. Let's say I want to change the shipping latency of the supplier. You can configure this with all our suppliers. Once you are done, click on save. Now, you can click on this link to view the average shipping time per supplier. You should view this before proceeding to make changes. On this page, you can view every supplier's rating, the number of products they have, where they ship from, where they ship to, their carrier, and the days taken for tracking code. If you click on the supplier's product link, you can view all their categories and how many products are in each category. You can click here to add all of this to your list. If you want a detailed version on how to browse through products, you can click on this link to view the video. Or simply search my other video called How to Browse Products on Wholesale 2B. As you see, the information is displayed for every supplier. That's it for step 3. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.